Hi folks, it's me again with a basic electrics tutorial today. Um, so what we have here, I've built a standard 2x1 but I'm not utilising the space uh, at all but it's just to demonstrate that you can use this in any kind of base situation. Um, so I've made a little, as it were, porch area and as you can see it looks rather uh, scary. Uh, because of all the lasers and stuff here. So what I'm going to demonstrate here is the use of automatic door opener, an AND gate, HBHF sensor and a laser. And there's lots of different ways of doing this kind of thing. But I just wanted to demonstrate the usefulness of an AND gate and uh, the extra security that two sensors add for a door as opposed to just one. So as you can see, um, I've also added the, uh, the audio laser light show uh, device here purely for asset for aesthetic um, uh, looks because uh, I think it just looks a little bit scarier for anyone coming up to the base. So what you got here basically, if I just walk through, you'll see what happens. I just I didn't touch the E at all to open that that door. Um, just walked through and uh, it did its thing. And you can see it closes on the way out. Now, depending on how fast you run out, that may or may not happen. So I recommend you close the door behind you. Or you just uh, take your time walking in. Uh, walking out, sorry. Uh, so what's happening here is what we've got, if I just open this up, we've just got you know an unfulfilled uh, space here, basically, just to authorise on a TC. Because what this is actually doing is, and why this is different to, uh, say, the automatic closure uh, that I've used before on a garage door, is you've got your HBHF sensor there, which is set to allow authorised personnel only on the TC. Now, you could just use that. The downside of that is, is whenever you walk in front of the base here, that door's going to open. You might not want that, especially if you've got a, a teammate, the other side of that door, messing around in a box or something. You don't want the door open so people can just shoot him. Um, or you don't want people just trying to get in there, even though you could remotely close it again just by moving out of the way of the sensor and trap them. Um, it's it, it, it has its pros and cons. But what we've got here, as you can see, if you forget the uh, the audio laser, which we've got there, as I said, just for looks, you've got the normal uh, laser that's been in the game for electrics for some time below that. So when we walk through that, that HBHF sensor is already detecting me here, but the door isn't open because it needs this as well. And that is all because of this AND gate here which uh, you can get OR gates, AND gates, XOR gates uh, in Rust. So everything you need to make any sort of computational device really, but we're using it in quite a basic way. So what's happening? So we've got a standard battery. I've got two solar panels on the roof, just charging that up. Um, as we're in the Northern Hemisphere, I've pointed them both south. I've mentioned that on the previous video to get as much charge as you can throughout the day. Basic switch, just in case I want to turn it off. I've just put a... Um, a basic splitter there um, just in case we want to take power off for other devices um, so that's just a bit of future proofing that I've, I've banged in um, and that comes down and round and even though these cables are a little bit blended I apologize for that and it powers this um, simple three-way splitter which if you don't know will evenly split any power going in three ways as long as something is plugged in to those three-way sockets so that is to say if you've only got two wired up it'll only split it two ways so on the battery I've got here which is a, um, a 50 power battery split three ways you're gonna get oh look there you go 15 on each one 45 it split it as 45 um, which is perfect for what we want here um, but if, you, if I only had two of these powered you'd be getting on 25 on each one so what happens it powers it these three outputs, I've got powered my um, aesthetically pleasing laser just to make the whole thing look scary. Not needed, but did it because why not? Powers this laser, which only needs like one or two power anyway. Um, I think maybe at the most three or four. Let's uh, let me just check that because I don't like giving you wrong info. Uh, one. So you know we don't even need this kind of power. You could do this with a small battery. HBMF sensor also needs one. When either of these devices are triggered, they will pass through their power of one out the other side. So you could just link one of those straight up to this door closure opener, 
door controller even, and it would open the door for you. But because we've got them both, because we want to make sure you're authorised on your TC, and the door doesn't open until close that until you are passing through that laser that you can see shining on the wall there across in front of me. So as I walk in front of that, this is already red me as an authorised user, the laser's registering me, that's why there's two green lights either side on the AND gate, and once the two are powered, the middle one comes on, which passes power to the door controller. So as I walk out of this laser, you'll see one of them go off. There you go, one went off, the door shut, and as, it, as the door closed and kind of pushed me through the HBMF sensor, which is on the B side, this wire here, um, also lost registration of me. So if I just ease into the door, the HBMF sensor picks me up first. Let's go ahead. There you go. So that HBMF sensor on the wall just out there has just registered me. Uh, as I walk into the laser, now they're all registered. That would open the door if it wasn't open already. Because it already is, when I walk out of that beam, it will close. Uh, and that's about it. It's very simple, very effective. Um, if you're in a rush to get in, uh, rather fumbling around um, for the E key, which I know you can do pretty fast anyway. You know, just it will just open for you. Close as you go in, and that's um, that can be quite good if you get killed in the doorway, and that you've opened the door. The door will shut because it will register your body is not there. You know what? I'm gonna. T uh, do you know what? I've never tested that, but I know it does it. Let's kill myself. You heard the door shut. Brilliant. I will respawn in the bag just outside, just here. There we go. So that's another great benefit. Someone shooting you as you're coming in, your door's getting shut. They can't open it because even though the laser beam would register them there, they're not authorised on the TC. So the HBMF sensor would not activate the, um, the AND gate. And there you go. Simple as that. I uh, hope you found this video useful. If you uh, like seeing electric stuff in Rust, let me know because there's loads more different gadgets and useful things you can do once you get bored with base building, killing people, farming, etc. etc. Um, so, yeah, let me know. See you in the next one. Cheers.